So this is the calculus chapter two, uh, example one. Um, and uh, so this is just evaluating a bunch of limit statements if you're given a graph. And for these, these are just true or false questions. Uh, so what I want to do, I, I know you can probably just look at the graph and get a lot of these quickly, but what I want to do is try to look at each limit equation and picture what it's trying to say. So in this one, it's saying, as x goes to negative 1 from the right side, so that would be something like this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, view, zoom in. Let me do that one more time. Okay, so what this is saying is, you know, I, let me use a thinner marker. That's thicker. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm just settling for that size. So as x goes to negative 1, from the right side, so that would be from this side over here, uh, the y value has to approach 1. So that means that as I'm coming at it, whatever way I'm coming at it from, like maybe it's like this, maybe it's like this, maybe it's straight across, but no matter what, it gets really close to 1. Right? It's got to zone in on 1 from the right side. So let's look at our graph and see if it does that. As I get really close to negative 1 from the right side, the y value gets really close to 1. So that looks good. So this is true. Okay. <clears throat> so let's look at the next one. Uh, the limit as x goes to 0 from the left, the y value gets close to 1. So as I get close to 0 coming at it from this side, I have to have a y value really close to 1. So the curve might come in like this and then zone in on 1 or come in like that or come in across like this. Uh, and let's see. As I get really close to 0 from the left side, the y value gets close to 0. Now it doesn't actually matter what happens at 0. It only matters what happens just to the left of 0. That's what, that's what a limit is saying. It doesn't say, otherwise it would say what's f of 0, not what's happening as x gets close to zero. So this one, this is not one. This should actually be zero if it were to be true. So when it says one, it's false. Okay. Um, well, the next one just answered that. That one's true, right? As I get close to zero from the left, the y value equals zero, or gets close to zero. Um, in D, it says the limit from the left side of 0 equals the limit from the right side of 0. And if you look at it, from the left side of 0, it equals 0. From the right side of 0, we get 0. So, yeah, these are both 0 here. 0 does equal 0, so this one's true. Um, this idea right here, limit as x goes to 0 of f of x exists, um, the way that we define a limit with no sides associated with it, like just some value a of f of x, if as long as a is not an infinity or negative infinity, then we would just say this exists if each one-sided limit, so a from the left of f of x, if that's exactly the same thing as the one from the right. And that's what we have. So we would say this is true. Um, oh, I forgot to actually put values here. Uh, oh, no, 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 I didn't. We're supposed to come up with the values here. So what's the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x? Well, um, that basically means that you're checking the limit from the left side and the limit from the right side. And whatever value, as long as those values are the same, then it's whatever that value is. And in this case, when I come at it from the left, and when I come at it from the right, they both zone in on zero. So this equals zero. In the next one, it's x goes to one from the right. So as x goes towards one, so the x value has to go towards one from the positive side of one. So I'm coming at it from this side. So as I get close to one, the closer I get to 1, th this, this whole function right here sits on the x-axis, so the closer I get to 1, the y value zones in on 0. Uh, let's look at the next one. What happens as I zone in on 1 but from the left side? 
So as I come towards x equals 1 right here, x equals 1, but from the left side, my y values don't get close to 0 like they did from the right side. They get close to 1. So the y values approach 1. This one right here, limit as x goes to 1, it doesn't have a plus or minus associated with it. So you would want to check both sides. So in one case, it approaches the y value of 1. And in the other case, it approaches the y value of 0. Right? Here's 1, here's 0. So they're two different things. So that actually means that this does not exist. Right? And that's because the limit as x goes to 1 from the left is not the same thing as x going to 1 from the right. Okay, and then the last one says, what happens as x goes to 2 from the left? Well, as I approach 2, but from this side, the y values zone in on 0. So this would be 0. Okay, uh, I'm going to add one extra one in here. Let's say k, limit as x goes to 2 from the right side of f of x. Well, if you look at that, that's saying what happens, what, what functions do you, what's the function's y values the closer you get to 2 from this, from the positive side of 2? Well, the function doesn't even exist over here. So since there's no function here, that means that there's no way that the y values can approach anything from the right side of 2. So this would be it does not exist. Okay, uh, hopefully that helps a little bit. And uh, there's some homework problems that are similar to this.